It is time to take a look at another episode of Big Bang Theory. Today I'm going to be taking a look at The Big Bang Theory Season 2, Episode 19, The Dead Hooker Juxtaposition. This episode gets this title because Leonard, Sheldon, and Penny get a new neighbor in the building moving into an apartment upstairs who happened to have played a dead hooker on an episode of NCIS. The episode begins in the apartment with everybody having dinner. Penny emerges from the back, having announced that she killed the spider. She says she doesn't mind helping kill the big spiders, but says they should all at least try with the little ones. Sheldon is in a little bit of distress over the fact that the Chinese restaurant steamed his dumplings, which he finds unacceptable. Leonard wants to change the topic, so Howard decides to take the opportunity to have a failed attempt to flirt with Penny as usual. Penny tells him not with a thousand condoms, but this, instead of discouraging Howard, actually gives him a glimmer of hope. So there is a number. Penny then delivers the news that Sheldon finds even more disturbing than his steamed dumplings, and that's the fact that there is a new neighbor going to be moving upstairs as the people who currently live up in apartment 5A, the floor above them, are moving out. The horror. <laughs> Everyone is kind of shocked that Penny could just so abrasively deliver this news to someone like Sheldon who needs time to adjust to such a change. Sheldon is distraught. Penny tries to comfort him a little bit, but when he's not having it, she just leans into it and lists a range of people who could move in that Sheldon would find horrifying. Raj then makes a suggestion by whispering, because Penny's in the room, that Howard could move in, and he says that's a good idea. He could move out of his mom's place, have his own space, and they could all spend more time together. This Penny finds truly horrifying. The horror. So Leonard, Sheldon, and Raj go over to begin helping Howard move. And Sheldon is shocked to find out that all Howard needs to do in exchange for them helping him move is buy him a pizza. Leonard can't get him past this, so Rog tells him he can either choose between a PS3 and a mountain bike. And of course, Sheldon will take the PS3. Before they even get to the door, they hear Howard arguing with his mother about him moving out. And Howard seems to actually be talking himself out of moving out. The notable part here is, unlike what we would see later in the show, Howard's mother doesn't seem to be disturbed by the thought of him moving out of the house. She says he's a grown man, fly out of the nest, for goodness sake. And again, this is a big difference from what we would see from Howard's mother later in the show, so it's a notable point here. We next see Leonard and Raj returning to their building, and there are moving boxes in the lobby. To Sheldon's horror, the new neighbor has arrived. They're here. He begins trying to shake some of their boxes to try to see what they might contain. The new neighbor comes down the stairs, and it is Alicia. Their new neighbor is another pretty blonde woman. So Leonard is right away very interested. Sheldon gets down to business and questions her about things she might do in her apartment and how she's going to be as a neighbor above him. But at the end, he eventually is satisfied with her answers, and so he welcomes her to the building. Alicia? Yes? Welcome to the building. We then see Leonard helping Alicia up the stairs carrying a box. When they reach their floor, they run bump into Penny coming out of her apartment. So this is the first meeting between Penny and Alicia. Penny's dressed pretty casually and feels kind of embarrassed and says she doesn't normally dress this way. And Alicia says that she's dressed like a slob today also, even though she's looking pretty good. Which annoys Penny, so she mocks her a little bit after she's left to go up to her floor. Sheldon overhears this and thinks it's just some harmless mimicry and says he enjoys it, and he's trying to perfect his imitation of Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! We next see Sheldon working quietly by himself, and Penny comes in looking for Leonard because he was supposed to be helping Penny set up her new printer, and Sheldon says that he's upstairs at Alicia's apartment. Him and Kuthra Polly and Wallowitz are all up there helping her set up her new stereo system, which Penny seems a little annoyed by. It's also worth noting that Penny has some new clothes that she purchased because she did not want to do her laundry, and then she decides to pop upstairs and see what's going on, where the group is all there helping Alicia set up her sound system, as they said. Now, it is notable that Penny shows up and has changed outfits again into a blue dress, and when Alicia compliments it, Penny takes the opportunity to give back the line that Alicia gave her earlier, that she's just dressed like a slob today. Leonard reveals here that Alicia is also an actress, which Penny's not too thrilled to hear. And Alicia says she's only been out here for three months and all she's had is a couple of national commercials and a recurring gig on a soap. So there's another issue that's going to annoy Penny. Alicia appears to be an actress like her and a bit more successful at this point. It is very clear in this scene that Alicia is being a little flirtatious with the guys to get them to continue helping her which seems to be very easy for her to do. Penny shows some jealousy, and she tries to get the attention of them back by telling a f science joke, which ends up just being a little insulting to them, because the joke basically implies that a physicist can't get a real woman. And to add some additional insult, Alicia asks Leonard to set up her printer after he's done with the stereo, which is what he's supposed to be doing for Penny. Penny returns downstairs with Sheldon, and she lets herself into the apartment without knocking. Sheldon makes an attempt at sarcasm here by making a display of this, and then at the end just announces that this was sarcasm. 
Sarcasm. <laughs> Penny is bothered that the guys are still upstairs, and Sheldon makes an analogy about bees. Penny gets a little insulted, but then it turns out that bees are on the Discovery Channel, and Sheldon was, of course, just talking about bees. But Penny thought he was saying that she felt threatened, which she clearly does. So in the next scene, Penny is trying to get everybody's attention back on her. She bought everybody dinner, which is a rarity for her, and is asking them what's up for the evening, whether it's going to be some Halo, Battlestar, or some of the things that the guys like to do, but they're surprised that she's suggesting them. She even got Sheldon's dinner order completely correct, causing him to tell Leonard that that's how it's done. However, Alicia knocks on the door to interrupt dinner, saying that she has to get to an audition very quickly, and her car's in the shop, so Leonard offers to take her, and Howard offers to go to help run lines, and Raj just wants to go along, I guess, and she says that she'll take them all out for Chinese food after, and they all rush out the door, leaving just Penny and Sheldon to enjoy the Chinese dinner that she ordered, and Penny begins to complain to Sheldon, saying that she's a user, she has Howard go to pick up her TV, and Sheldon points out that she had had Leonard and Sheldon do the same thing when they first met, and Penny says that it's completely different, apples and oranges. And Penny thinks that Alicia is trying to use her looks to skate by and get weak-willed men to do what she wants done. But Sheldon does interject one point, and that's just simply that Penny bought the wrong mustard. Next, Penny is down in the laundry room getting her laundry done, and Alicia walks in to do her laundry as well, and they have a conversation. Alicia says she got her... Part on CSI as a hooker. Penny says she thinks she'd make a great hooker, and she says thank you. Penny's clearly annoyed, and Alicia kind of starts to pick up on it, but chooses to move past it. She then says she's going because the guys are going to be helping her set up something else in her apartment and painting her bedroom. And so Penny decides to draw some attention to this. She says she doesn't want her to take advantage of the guys, and she actually surprises herself by using a Star Trek metaphor. You know, like in Star Trek when you're in battle and you raise the shields. <laughs> She references how the guys don't know how to use their shields. Alicia says she doesn't think she's taking advantage of them. They're happy with the attention she's giving them, and she gets stuff. And she asks how it's any different from what Penny does with the guys. Penny takes this deeply offensive, they get start arguing back and forth, and it eventually leads into a physical fight. And just as the guys are re-entering the apartment building, they spill out of the laundry room, having a fight on the floor, and Howard decides to restrain Leonard because he thinks he's the only one who would be stupid enough to break up a girl fight. And we end the episode back in the apartment with the full gang having dinner. Penny is sporting a black eye and still seems a little bit down, even enough that she doesn't reject Howard's attempt at being flirtatious, catching him off guard. They then hear Alicia's music start up, and they mention that her Facebook page says that she was seeing a producer from the CSI show, and then they hear some squeaking, so it seems like Alicia may be trying to advance her career in one way or the other. And we can assume that maybe it works, because this is the only appearance we get of Alicia. And that is how we end this episode, Season 2, Episode 19, The Dead Hooker Juxtaposition. And as I said, this is the only appearance we get of Alicia, so she's not a recurring character on the show. It was just a one-off. We don't know if she stays in the building longer or moves out, becoming more successful after the events of this episode. Luckily for Penny, she doesn't have to compete with her anymore going forward, though. And the main takeaway we see from this episode is from Penny. Penny is very jealous in this episode that the guys are giving attention to another woman who is trying to take advantage of them, but we also see that Penny has grown fond of all of the group, and while she may have been jealous, she's also worried that they're all being taken advantage of. So we see that Penny has really started to truly consider them all friends, even Howard. I would rate this episode at a good score of 7 out of 10. Please let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments section. Let me know if you think Alicia should have been a recurring character to be a rival for Penny at other points. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep an eye out for my next video coming soon.